Hi, in this video I want to talk about rule of probability and uh, rule of multiplication and addition. And today's problem is what is the probability for a couple to have in a row five children of the same sex? And I encourage you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own and then you can uh, run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, uh, first of all, uh, this couple may have two um, possibility to have uh, children of the same sex, five children of the same sex in a row. So the first one would be to have five children that gender would be boys. So this is going to be five boys in a row. And the second would be to have uh, five girls in a row. So, here I would ask what is the probability for the first um, boy, for the first child to be a boy, and this is one half. So the chances is one half. And uh, what is the probability for the second child to be a boy? Once again, chances are one half. So no matter what is the gender of the first child, it have no effect on the gender of the following child or second uh, child's uh, gender doesn't affect a gender of the third child so every time this is independent events so every time we have to multiply by one half so as long as uh, the question is about five children of the same sex we have to multiply by uh, one half every time. So uh, if we multiply one half by one half, we are going to get uh, one quarter and multiplied by one half, we are going to get uh, one eighth, multiplied by one half, one sixteen, and multiplied by one half, one over thirty two. And with girls would be the same story. So every time we have to multiply by one by one half because every time there is fifty percent chances that the child would be a girl and the answer would be the same. So chances is one over thirty two. And now we can uh, answer uh, the question and in order to do this we just have to add all these answers so chances for all children to be boys we have to add with chances for all children to be girls and uh, our answer would be 2 over 32 or we can um, say that this is the same as 1 over 16. So this would be our answer. And as you see we use here two rules. On the first place we use the rule of multiplication in order to find this answer and then we use a rule of the uh, addition of uh, two events so this is one event and this is the second event and because these two events cannot happen uh, simultaneously so when we have all five children uh, boys we cannot have simultaneously all five uh, children to be girls so in this case and vice versa so in this case we have to use a uh, rule of addition so we have to add both events and this is going to be our answer and this is would be simplified form of 2 over 32 so our answer is 1 over 16 thank you for attention this is all for today please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day goodbye